Okay. So, what we are doing is um, hydroponics, the crab key method, so which is the simplest way to um, to do hydroponics. So, for this, we, we need, um, for the crab key hydroponics, we need jars here. here. So, this is amber glass jar, a net pot like this growing medium so what i have right here is the flexi plum mm -hmm. but you can also use sponges like this one this is a cellulose sponge meaning this sponge will um, eventually degrade or it's biodegradable and then for this um project we will be also using this plastic container that i had cut and we will be using the top the sort of the neck part all that bottle this will be like this so as shown in the previous video or we had earlier uh, earlier I've shown you how I cut this using a letterman tool and then instead of buying another net pot I just use this as the net pot but there's a huge hole at the bottom we will we will we will deal with that later um, one of the ways you can actually use this as net pot is to add some, if the, the hole is too big, I cut it too big. Um, you can just use rubber bands to increase the girth of this section to hold it like that. But I will add more rubber bands later. And then you will also need um, this. This is actually Leica yeah leica which we will add here later into this net pot okay and then we will also need nutrient solution in this case i am using snap solution snap a and snap b okay so snap a and snap b are both philippine made so they're developed by the U university of the philippines los baños okay and then we have uh, uh a container of seeds uh, for this project we will be um, planting we will be growing sweet basil okay sweet basil or genovese basil okay i've grown basil a number of times before using this method and it has been successful so i want to, to uh, replicate that success using upcycled um, plastic bottle and then, of course, this jar. I've grown basil using this jar before. Okay. So, for hydroponics, uh, using snap solution, we need to add 10 ml of snap A and 10 ml snap B concentrate into this pail of water. This is about... Um, about 10 and 10, 10 liters of water okay and then I just use the cup of the solution here so this is about 5 ml so two cups is 10 ml okay snap B okay uh, aside from snap solution we've also used master blend before and we have we have been successful in growing um, lettuce to, uh, tomato tomato and um, an eggplant using master blend but right now we're, we're going to use um, snap solution okay so we'll just shift the camera Oh no yet. Uh, we haven't we haven't mixed this solution. So you just mix the solution using a stick. Okay. Um I I've, I've had I've had successfully um, grown basil and other herbs in the past using thinner version of this solution, but it's really uh, it's really best especially for beginners to start with um mixing using the package instruction of snap solution and other um, nutri nutrient solution that we will use 
it's better to do that but if you want to experiment later on you can also do that and then observe if your plants are thriving using a 50 percent dilution or uh, the correct dilution and, and such the concept of Krat kratky hydroponics is basically basically um more applicable on short-term um, herbs such as basil which are usually are ready for, for harvest about six weeks to four to eight weeks Yon, um, usually a basil can grow in this jar of solution without needing to replenish it a lot but I do replenish it with a thinner version of the snap solution and, and it was successful uh, but um, Again, if you are a beginner, you need to follow the package instruction for your nutrient solution. When you are, so that you know, so that you'll have a baseline of how you are doing the Kratky hydroponics. I have been doing this uh, since the pandemic started, so that's in that's last year. Okay, and then what we'll do is add the flexi the flexi plug and uh to make it expand a little because this is a little too wet okay flexi plug you can also use um rock wool uh like i said cellulose sponge you can put your um you can put your seed into the sponge but make sure that you uh, submerge your sponge and rock wool first in an acidic water what i do is just add um, calamansi into water you can also use vinegar so that you will lower the pH of the sponge because uh, most seeds a lot of seeds grow in low pH and then you just um, submerge this for about 20 minutes and then um, put it in a nut in a dry basin and add the, so the the seed okay in flexi plug you don't need to do that you can just wet it and then there's a hole inside the rock, uh, rather the flexi plug that you can add your um, seeds. Okay, so flexi plug is actually organic. That's why I like this. Uh, I've grown basil using the flexi plug as well. Okay, so now that it's wet, and I think I can already add the seed. Let's now proceed to adding the seed here. Okay, so we have, actually we also have cilantro and basil. Maybe we should do both. Cilantro and, cilantro and basil. For basil, I usually just add about two seeds. Okay, two seeds, or this is three, into the hole. Okay, and then if they all three grow, I will just... I will just separate the seedling once they're about two inches and put the seedlings in separate um, separate flexi plugs or rock wool. I, you, you need to be really careful when you're separating the seedlings because you don't want to damage the roots. The roots of basil are really fine and uh, you have to be really careful when you are separating them. So what we do, we just add Okay, so this is already wet as well. I will show you later how to use this upcycled um, plastic bottle into Kratky. Okay, so let's add the solution that we have mixed earlier into this jar. Okay, you have to add the water up to the level where it touches the net pot. Okay, and then what I will do is add the leka and the flexi plug. So the, maybe this is a little tricky because you know leka differs in sizes, but they're generally oval. Okay, so the reason for this is that you want to hold the flexi plug upright. All right. So um, what I did here, um, I think the the flexi plug is a little to the side. So let's just try to center that here okay and then 
Okay, I think that's uh, enough leka. Okay. Oops. Need more on the side. Okay. Hope you can see that. Okay. So we just added leka here. And then every morning you need to spray some water into this so that the plexi plug stays moist or damp because on, uh, seeds grow in in damp uh, flexi plug it's pretty much like soil that you need to keep the, uh, the the medium the growing medium damp okay so that's it and then you just wait for the seeds to sprout okay okay for this one let's see if we can find okay we need more we need more rubber bands for this because the uh, the mouth or the, of the bottle is too huge or too wide for for this um, makeshift net pot. We also need to add holes into this pala because um, we need air to circulate around this system when we're doing when we're doing hydroponics. Pretty much like this one. So I will use my ever reliable letterman for this for putting holes on the side of this makeshift net pot we'll be back soon okay so we added um rubber bands to this um, makeshift net pot but it appears that it doesn't really fit well so that's fine we'll just be using another net pot for this project i have i have two inch net pot this is 100 1.75 inches um, diameter net pot. This one is 2 inches. And let's see if it's gonna fit. See? It fits perfectly. Okay? I have, uh, I have a, a few of this because I have been doing Kratke since last year. Okay? So, we'll just switch it. We'll just use this 2 inch net pot. And I'll just find something to use this with later on. Okay? So... Um, okay, so I am I have here this uh, piece of sponge This is actually a cellulose sponge that you can use for a project Okay, so when you are when you're doing hydroponics, uh, you can also use sponges. Okay, but uh, since I've already dumped this um, Plexi plug I'll be using this plexi plug for another seed. Okay, so in this case I will be putting in cilantro okay cilantro doesn't <laughs> so actually cilantro is uh, a little tricky to plant because um this seed is rounded but in order for this to grow you really have to pinch the seed okay like this so you will have um I have I, I was less successful with planting cilantro compared to basil here. So you have to do this. You have to pinch the seed so you will get halves of the seed because uh, each each piece has two two seeds actually. So in order for this to germinate successfully, you need to um to do that. Okay? There. I learned this from watching uh, one of the videos on hydroponics by uh, someone from India. And I was able to grow um, cilantro using this technique. I don't know why, but it's like, it's, 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 it's more successful if you do that. Okay, so you will just need to add the seed. If you notice, I have six because uh, I find that uh, planting just one didn't work for me so i'll just uh, plant six and then see if one of them germinates successfully if they all germinate then i will have to separate them again and put in separate rock wool or flexi plug okay so again we need to put the solution into this bottle um actually when you are doing hydroponics or cracky hydroponics you have to make sure that the bottle you're using is opaque you cannot use clear um, bottle because uh, if you do that you will have a problem with uh, growth 
of moss. Okay? Because the moss loves the sun. Okay, this is too much. Let's just pour it out a bit. Okay? So the water has to be just touching the bottom of the the net pot. And then um we will use hydrotons and hydrotons and and leka for this. So we'll just have to add the leka and the hydrotones around the Flexi plug. Okay. Okay. So I'm using this bottle because this is perfect. It's opaque and the plastic is really thick compared to uh, PE bottles. Okay. And then um, cilantro and basil, I find they grow uh, by the window. They don't need to be under the sun. Actually, it's, um, it's not advisable to put them under the sun. I find that uh, the seedlings die when they're in full sun. I don't know, maybe because I live in a condo in a third floor and um, maybe it's hotter when, uh, when, <laughs> when it's hotter in my area. I don't know, but uh, I have the east facing window and I find that the cilantro and basil seedlings thrive better when they're put in the window, uh, not directly, uh, direct, not directly under the sun, but um, you have the brightest, you need to have a brightest section of your window. You need to put them there in the brightest section, okay? Alright, so again, as with um, basil, we need to spray this every morning just to make sure that um, the flexi plug is done. And then we will um, do a part, time, a part two video of this as soon as the seeds starts growing okay so we'll see the progress uh, i'm doing this video actually while filming this i'm actually <laughs> demonstrating this for my son he is um near use he's near use and he is he's doing this for hele so this is actually their project for hele or his project for hele so my youngest son also wanted to participate in though he doesn't have hele subject okay so um with that, uh, I end this video and I hope you learned something from me. I know this isn't the highly technical Kratky Hydroponics lecture that you expect. Um, but uh, this is just a practical way of doing it uh, based on my own personal experience. Again, uh, you can choose to use your nutrient solution. I find that SNAP, SNAP solution is actually effective also. But uh, to be honest, I prefer Master Blend. It's just that I don't have a huge container to mix it in right now. But uh, you can also try Master Blend. I got Master Blend from CRS Hydroponics. I will put in the link at the bottom of the video. And I'll see you in the next um, class, uh, next video for this. Showing you how the basil and uh, cilantro is thriving. Okay? Again, this has been Grass of the Fabulous Scientist. Do follow us and um, uh, read our blogs. Okay? Bye for now. So this is um, the cilantro and basil kratki. Okay? So as you can see, they, uh, I put it on my table where there's no direct light yet. Because uh, they don't need sunlight yet as they are still seeds. Uh, eventually, I will move them to that area right there. The brightest section of my house. It's right beside the window. Um, what you're seeing in front of you is my gumamela <laughs> growing out of a tiny, uh, uh, no, 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 not, not so tiny, but a bucket of hydroponic solution. I'm also growing this um, alugbati or spinach using that water jar right there. That's also Kratky Hydroponics. Okay?